really quick video, everybody. Uh, I had a, a brother ask me if I could make a, a video uh, regarding this topic of, of obedience for salvation. Because he said there's people going around saying, you know, obedience for salvation. And uh, he was a little confused about that. And, you know, the Lordship people, you know, they what they mean by that, they mean you have to work your way to heaven. That's a false gospel. Okay. Biblically, to obey the gospel is to believe it. And that's it. Okay. You obey the gospel by believing it. Because what is the gospel? The gospel is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That has nothing to do with your works, okay? And, you know, all over the Bible we're commanded to believe God, okay? And of course, we have to believe his gospel, right? And what's ironic with these lordshippers is that they're always talking about obedience. But if you're unsaved, you're literally never obedient to God. Never. Never, never obedient to God. Um, because, you know, unbelief is a sin. And if you're never believing God, if you've never believed God, you're always in sin. In addition to whatever else you're, you you get into, right? Whatever, whether you take drugs or you, you steal or you rob or whatever. You're an extortioner. You're, you're you know, a whore. You're a liar. The point is, like, to obey the gospel is to believe it, okay? And I'm going to read you a passage in 2 Thessalonians uh, verses 8 and 9, and it says, In flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. What does that sound like to you? It sounds like people that, you know, didn't know God and didn't obey the gospel are going to go to hell when they die. They're going to have this everlasting destruction. Okay. And that's exactly what would happen to anybody who doesn't believe the gospel. If you don't believe the gospel, okay, you're going to have to, you know, pay for your sins in hell. And because you can't pay for it, you're going to, you know, be in that lake of fire. You're going to be in the lake of fire forever. Because you can't pay for your sins. Because you're dead in trespasses and sins. So remember, obedience to the gospel is simply believing it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Believe means to trust, but your faith in, right? Trust Jesus Christ as your Savior. Believe that he paid for all your sins on the cross and that he was buried and rose again on the third day. In the book of Acts, the question, what must I do to be saved, appears in the Bible. And that's the only time that question appears in the Bible. And the answer is, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thine house. Take care.